Let's see how you can add these amazing social share buttons on your website. You can see I have floating sidebar. It always float on your website like this and your Facebook, Twitter, email, Pinterest, WhatsApp, WeChat, Messenger. And if you click on here plus, you can see all the social media platforms are available here. So no matter which platform the user is using, they can share your website on the favorite social media platform. And we'll see how we can customize these things. Not just here, you can add this social share buttons on your website posts and pages. I'm going to show you how. So this is my about us page. If I scroll the page, I have all these sharing options on my website pages, even on post also. And if we go back, you can see if somebody click on Facebook icon like this and Facebook window will open with your website image and some text and they can share on Facebook. If somebody click on Twitter, they can tweet your website on Twitter. The same way they can share your website, post pages or in home page on any social media platform. So log into WordPress dashboard, then from left side bar, hover on plugins and click add new and search here, add to any and you'll find this first plugin, add to any share buttons, click on install now. Once installed, click activate. Now you can find this plugin in left side bar, settings and add to any, click on add to any. This is a super simple plugin. It has just two tabs from where you can manage all these social share icons. And guys, before we move forward, I would like to thank everybody who supported the YouTube channel and we are super close to reach 2000 subscribers. So if you're new here, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to my channel because I create compact to the point videos without wasting any free time. Okay, so let's move forward. So your first tab, which is standard. So you can decide here how big you want your icons to appear on your website. Right now it's 32 pixels. You can choose it to like 22 pixels, they will be smaller. You can change the background also and foreground also. And then you have share buttons. You can see now I have few buttons here. If I go back here, I click on add or remove services. If I want, I can remove WhatsApp, Pinterest, email, and I have just four icons here. So you can save from here and only those icons will display because not everybody need all those icons to display on the website. So once you decided which icons you need, you can scroll the page and then you have universal button, which is plus icon. If user will click on plus icon, all the social media platform will appear. And if you choose none here, all the icons you selected from here, they will display only. And now this is important. This is a placement. This is a placement where you want to display these social share icons. So you want to display on the bottom of the post or you can choose on the top of the post. Or if you want, you can choose on the top and the bottom. You should not miss any opportunity to let users share your website pages. And then you can decide if you want to display on the top of excerpts except as a small description of the post. For example, on a blog page, you have multiple posts. So if you choose this option, these icons will display on the excerpt. And then you can decide if you want to display on the top of pages, top of the media pages, top of the landing pages, and top of the templates. Also, you can decide if you want to display at the top of Elementor header and footer builder. Okay, once done, you have menu options and then additional JavaScript. If you're advanced user, you can choose this option. You can click here and you can add some JavaScript actions. If you want to know what these actions are you can click on additional options and it will open the add to any page from where you can know all these actions you can add via javascript on your website then your additional css if you want to customize something more the colors the size or some more events you can use additional css and you can add the css code directly here and you have advanced option for advanced user if you want you can play with that once done click on save changes the another tab is floating tab floating tab are these icons which are always visible on your website you can decide where you want them to display. Right now, they're on the right side of my website. If I choose, I can display on left side. And then you can decide if you want to hide on mobile screen. For example, right now it is 980 pixels. So these icons will be hidden on mobile devices. If I want, I can change it to 50 pixels. They will be visible on all devices. You can set up hide until page is scrolled 200 pixels. So for example, your page is there. If somebody scroll the page for 200 pixels, only then this icon will appear. If you want to hide this option at some point when user scroll the page, you can choose this option from here. For example, if somebody scroll the page 100 pixels, these options will be hidden. Then you can decide the position from the top. Right now, this distance is 150 pixels. And then you can decide the offset pixels from left or right. You have icon size, like we have icon size for universal icons on the post and pages. You can choose the size for floating icons also. And then you have transparent background. If if you want, you can choose a custom background. And once you are done, click on save changes. So we made some changes. I'm going to refresh my page and let's see what changed. You can see we do not have plus icon anymore and we have less icons here now because I removed some icon services from the plugin setting. Did you see? It was super easy to set up social icons on your website. And if you're wondering about this WhatsApp icon, 
You can click here and the user can directly send WhatsApp message from your website to you. If you want to know more about this, I create another video. Check out the video on your screen to know how you can add this WhatsApp chat on your website. I hope you like the video. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to my channel. I create compact to the point content without wasting any of your time and which will improve your web skills. Thank you so much. See you in another video.